Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show with your host Shikama. This is my my bell pepper plant. And this isn't recent. This is been like this for weeks. So at first it was on the south end of the house, which gets full sunlight for about like 12 hours a day or something, whatever full sunlight is all day from morning until dusk, right? So this was not like this during the full sunlight. I put it, I put everything, not everything, but I put most of the peppers under a leafy tree so they will get sunlight, direct sunlight from about two or three, no leaves in a way, until dusk, right? Uh, so they'll, they'll suffer from the heat, the Las Vegas heat, but they wouldn't get the direct sunlight. I was having the problems with the fruit suffering from sun scorching. So as you can see, the fruit is not sun scorched, but the plant itself is not growing anymore. As you can see, I, I, I cut off all the uh, bad fruit. And so under the tree, it started doing this. Okay, so I said, oh, it's overwatered, so I let it completely dry out. Still looks like this, okay. Then I uh, did the fresh water, so I would pour water into one of these very large containers. And I have about three of them out there, and they sit for 24 hours uh, to at least get the fluoride, not the fluoride, the uh, chlorine out of the water. Chlorine evaporates. So I started using that. I am still using that. So this is the only plant doing this. All the other pepper plants are fine. They look peachy keen. Just this one is like this. And this one was in between two different other pepper plants. So I got the bright idea to bring this in. So it was completely dry and I watered it and uh, I overwatered obviously. I over just this time. This is just a few hours ago so I have been seeing how bad it is and I stuck a thing down and it was of course completely overwatered so I put a bucket uh, I put it inside of a bucket there's a as you can see there's a gap there I put a brick at the bottom of this bucket and so that it would drain out. So slowly it's draining out. Now I got the bright idea that it didn't have nutrients. So I put a little Epsom salt, a little bit of the bio juice, and I put Flora Grow and Flora Micro, and I've just done that. So I'm keeping an eye on it. These are the curly fluorescent bulbs. These are what uh, the tomato plants were under when they were in here also and they sprouted up within a few days. They grew like six inches within a few days. So I'm keeping it out of the heat. Uh, I have the temperature set to 75 degrees. So it hugger, hovers between 75 and 76 degrees. I'm going to, this is just this. I just did this tonight, brought it in here tonight. I do not keep, I do not keep the soil this wet. This is just now. I guarantee you it will probably be fine. 
Uh, everything is green. The leaves are are not stiff, so I'm assuming it's not dead. The leaves are very nice and soft. Uh, everything's green. Uh, and I'm going to let this completely drain out. Now, as you can see, there is perlite in here, but I'm assuming the perlite is probably all at the top. I, I did mix it, but the perlite is all at the top as far as uh, trying to make sure that it is well drained. But it's not. What I did was, can you... Can you hear the sand? I put sand at the bottom of it, thinking that the sand would help drain it, but it does not. The sand, this sand is terrible. This is not something that I got from a garden store. This is something that uh, we bought for the landscaping, trying to build up the level of the yard because it, were, the yard itself is sloped. Uh, and we didn't want it to be slopey. And so that was the bright idea to get that sand. So I brought that sand in there uh, and put it at the bottom, just about an inch or so. And I believe it's in all the pots. And I believe that sand it's was is what is keeping the water in. Uh, I don't want to uh, transplant all of the plants, but if I have to, I will. So this is my experiment here to see how this uh, uh, comes out. Uh, I'm assuming these are all curled up because they're trying to perspire and get the water out of the plant itself uh, away from the roots. But hopefully uh, this will drain properly in here. I'm going to leave this in here for a couple of days and it will be fine. It won't have the the rigorous sun that it has to compete with and these lights are not hot at all they're hot to the touch but they're not I broke my I broke my fingernail remember I had a fingernail like this long uh, anyway uh, these aren't hot at all so plus the air conditioner is will keep it nice and temperate uh if you have suggestions i just put in maybe a, a couple of cap full of each of these each all three of these uh one had they all have nitrogen uh some have more well let's take let's just take a look here So 5% nitrogen, 5% calcium. I was thinking that maybe it was down in calcium. You can get this off of Amazon. I'll provide a link. Uh, and this is very low calcium. I mean, very low nitrogen. But... It has potash, which I believe is sulfur. And this, I believe, is just a complete general nutrition thing. And I don't know how, I only put like a, maybe a teaspoon of Epsom salt in there, which is a. Uh, uh, magnesium magnesium and sulfur I'll put links uh, below uh, if you have a suggestion of why this is like this is it does it just need to drain out uh, if that's the case I'll just keep this in here for a few days see if it drains I mean it's gonna drain out but I'll keep this in here a few a few days uh, so it doesn't have to compete with a hundred degree sun, you know, you know, that would be hard for anybody. Uh, so that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Please 
subscribe to the channel and uh, give your suggestions. Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.